The Sunbirds coming off a 30-point win over Bethesda, looking for the first conference win in the Pac West against Powerhouse Dixie State, and this was a wild one. Early on, the Sunbirds up by one, and Matt Samuels drills the three to give FPU a four-point lead. Then Malcolm Griffin hits two of his 22 on the night right here on the jumper from the free throw area. Then it's John Taylor doing it on the dish to Trevin Clayton, who gets the and one. He would make the free throw to put FPU up by seven. Then Anthony Brandt finds Antonio credit on the seal down low, and he slams it home, part of his 13.10 rebound double-double. Just before halftime, and we were all knotted up, and Taylor hits the fadeaway three, and Dixie with a chance at a last second shot to tie at the half, and McKay Massey knocks it down, and we are tied up at the break. In the second half, and it's Zach Robbins with a great move down low for the easy deuce. He had a huge double-double with 26 points and 18 boards for the Red Storm. Then McKay again on the three to put Dixie State up by five. Just over a minute to go and Brant with the steal and goes for the easy lay in on the other end to bring FPU within one. After a missed shot, Samuels takes this one coast to coast and gives the Sunbirds the lead with 20 seconds to go. On the other end, the Red Storm with the mismatch down low and Samuels does a good job here to give the hard foul and make Derek Owens win the game the hard way. He would make the first and then have this free throw for the lead. First good foul by Matt. That was his first one too. Uh, he fouled number 50. He missed one. He missed the second one. We had a timeout, but you know, uh, you know, we like to push the ball. So coach just told us get up the floor. I got up the floor. I saw number 42 guard me. I saw it was a mismatch. You know, did my infamous floater. It's game time. Yeah, I like to. Um, typically, you know, if we get a rebound, tie game, or down one or two, you know, less than 10 seconds. I like to let our guys play in transition and really try to push it. So I think oftentimes you end up calling the timeout. Now you're going against a set defense. I really think you give the defense an advantage um, in those types of situations. So yeah, our guys, um, you know, made a scary pass to start the possession. Uh, Malcolm made a nice save on it, and then uh, you know once he launched his uh, patented floater, I knew it was going down. He doesn't miss that thing too many times. Um, I kind of owe this one to my team. Uh, first, first game we played in the conference against Cal Baptist. I didn't do pretty good. Uh, I, we got in foul trouble, played frustrated, played a little selfish. So, you know, I owed it to my team tonight. Um, so for just, you know, the mindset of, of our players, I think it was huge. You know, getting that first really signature win, you know, just uh, to help them believe in what we're doing, to believe in each other. Um, I just think a win like this, you know, just builds trust across the board. So it was huge. 